Hello my little sapphires, welcome to another Q&A. Honestly, like I am feeling so flustered. This is no lie, literally right. I just done an OnlyFans photo shoot with no makeup because I was mainly doing it for the lingerie. So, so I didn't need my face in it. <laughs> but yeah, I was doing an OnlyFans photo shoot and I just tried getting the lingerie off and it was like a tight, like netty French knicker style bodysuit. And it's just taken me three and a half minutes to get it off, pass down my bum. Like, literally, I thought, right, I'm going to film that video. I'm going to sell it on my OnlyFans. So if any of you guys are subscribed to my OnlyFans, um, feel free to request it. I'm going to sell it for $12 to $15. I haven't decided yet. But yeah, and if you aren't on my OnlyFans, obviously subscribe. Um, if any of you guys do subscribe today from this YouTube video, uh, I'm going to be giving you a free personalised shout out. All you've got to do is DM me on OnlyFans. Say you've literally just subscribed this second after watching this video and I will send you a, a shout out video saying your name and yeah. So uh, yeah, but that's only for new subscribers. <laughs> Right, honestly, I'm so out of breath. I'm so out of breath from doing that. Anyway, welcome to a Q&A. I feel like you guys are all here for the Q&A. You're not here for me to plug my only fans or plug Power Girls Pro. I'm going to plug Power Girls Pro. We have a shoot on the 30th of May. Um, I'm so excited. Once again, another offer for you guys, because I'm so nice. Get £10 off your custom wrestling match. So basically, you get to create your own dream wrestling match. You get to pick your wrestlers, so you can have me, or you can have someone else, or two wrestlers. You can pick a ref, you can pick your storyline, pick your characteristics, pick your moves, pick what type of match. Do you want a grappling match? Do you sort of want, like, you know, an indie style match? Do you want an I quit match? Maybe you want a dominating style match where the one wrestler is just beating up the other wrestler? Or maybe you want a stink face match? There's a lot of stink face lovers out there, or maybe someone else. Honestly, there's so many different wrestling matches to choose from. Why am I speaking so fast? Oh, anyway, let's get into this Q&A. CG Cumpino said, How many years have you been wrestling? For a vacation, would you visit Hawaii someday? So I would love to visit Hawaii. Like, honestly, that is on my list. Like, Hawaii looks like paradise. Um, so a little bit about me, started wrestling when I was 14, I'm 29 now, uh, made my debut at 16, got injured at 18, decided to come back at about 22 and now I'm going to be 30 in three months, so I've been back for about eight years, so uh, that's my wrestling life. Um, I've got so many Q&A videos and just so many videos on this channel, if this is your first time to this channel, like check out my old videos. You'll know everything about me and about my wrestling history. Make sure you're subscribed as well. Uh, Joe, what a day said, will you appear on what a day? To be honest, I'm not taking any free podcast requests. Um, I know it sounds awful, but honestly, like just to actually do a video for my YouTube channel, like what's the date, right? So it's the 11th today and I announced this on the 3rd of May. So it's taken me eight days to actually um, be able to sit down and even film this YouTube video um, for my own channel. So just to commit to other people's podcasts, I just can't do it at the moment. Like, honestly, I feel like I'm like, what's that word called? Like when you're thinking yourself too thin and like literally like you just feel like screaming because you've committed yourself to so much stuff and you've got so much on and literally like it's just it's just horrible like it really is and I just feel angry and agitated all the time because I've just got so much going on um I don't know if things will change but yeah right now um I'll only do any paid work so if someone wants to pay me to be on their podcast um obviously I do that because it's paid work and it's work um I'm saving up to buy a house so obviously I need as so much work as I can get but I've just not got the time to do free podcasts right now I have done them in the past I've got no problem with them but just right now I can't I can't commit to it ADG1 said has corona affected wrestling well yeah there's um no shows no shows whatsoever. I've done like obviously Power Girls. Um, I've done a few tapings for other promotions, but nothing in front of fans. Um, I've got quite a lot of bookings coming up. 
don't know if they're gonna happen because I'm just like could things change could we go into another lockdown I hope not I hope they happen but who knows um Mr Shelton TV said can we get a shout out for China and her strong influence in the 90s wrestling into the millennium be nice to mention the late ballot and wrestler yeah you know what China's amazing I love China let's just give her a quick shout out um oh my god my dog's barking honestly she's got the worst bark ever but yeah, no, China was a ma massive influence for a lot of girls uh, growing up. So, uh, yeah. Justin, what country are you originally from? So, I'm from Wales. I'm also half Arabic. I was born in Wales. My mother is Welsh and my father is from Libya. And my, brother, my father was born in Libya. AJ said, what's something that you did to keep yourself motivated during lockdown, especially since wrestling requires athletes to be in the best shape possible. So in the first lockdown, I lost a stone. I was walking the dog a lot um, and I was doing home workouts. The second lockdown was just awful. Um, I guess seasonal depression anyway. So to not be able to go to the gym and stuff like that and not be able to go wrestling training was horrific. Um, I was ordering takeaways all the time probably gained like a hundred stone it was comfort eating uh we had to isolate for 10 days because my housemates and my brother had corona that was horrific just the isolation period was horrific like mentally it just ugh. i've always said that like with this it is literally survival of the fittest <laughs> with what's happening and i mean that not just physically but mentally as well because mentally i think so many people have suffered I know of so many suicides, way more suicides than actual cases, to be fair. Um, so many people getting depressed and stuff and just losing their heads. So many people turn into alcohol, drugs, all sorts. It's been horrific for so many people. I really, really, really hope there's not another lockdown. My heart goes out to everyone who's suffered during this horrible year. Even though I guess we're lucky to be here and we're lucky to be alive. It's just been such a horrible year for people, hasn't it? I don't even want to think about it. <laughs> Brett Lynn Forth said, who would be your dream wrestling opponent if you could wrestle anybody? I think I've like done like I said like so many different opponents, but today I feel like wrestling Sasha Banks. <laughs> Her steamy drink. Al Ali said, if you could eat anything forever, what would your top five be? So definitely fried chicken definitely chinese i love crispy duck from the chinese egg fried rice um crispy chicken and salt and pepper chips oh can be sauce i love an italian style pizza i love a roast dinner i love nando's like nando's oh, i crave that all the time and i love middle eastern foods i think i've picked over five i'd have to have all them and some crisps and some chocolate um demetrius walker said who is your dream opponent and style match up that you would be comfortable in the ring with uh when you get to the states from AEW impact or wwe i love how you say when you get to the states that's really positive definitely using the law of attraction there it's not if it's when um i guess it depends what promotion i'm in um but to be fair any 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 like even wrestling in the states would be amazing for me and a dream come true there's so many talented people um i feel like i'm doing this um youtube video with brain fog so my head's just like ugh. like usually like, i've got so much more to say and i've got like i'd be like yeah i want to wrestle here 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 but now i'm just like oh do you ever get them days god <laughs> so i can't even think about who i'd want to wrestle Alvin Boyd said, are you single? What do you like in a guy? Yes, I am single once again. Um, so I've been single now since November. So what's that about five months ago? Yeah, five months ago. I Yeah, I'm single. Um, yeah, I don't even know what to say about that. Um, I do miss my ex. I really do. Um, great guy. Great guy um yeah <laughs> um i'm not 
I'm not um, hoping to stay single for long. Obviously, um, I'm dating, potentially. I don't know what to say, like potentially like looking like I might be getting a relationship with someone else. But we'll have to see. <laughs> uh, what do I look for in a guy? So just someone who, like I said, I've got brain, I got, literally, I've got brain fog again. I hope you guys aren't watching this thinking, what the hell am I watching? Just bear with me, bear with me. I've got tea here. Let's have them. Let's have a bit of tea. Right, so what do I look for in a guy? So, obviously for me, initial attraction, sexual chemistry is a must and that's not even just sexual chemistry in the bedroom but literally just like when you're with them and like you can just feel it like you know like when like you hug them or you kiss them and yeah just that type of chemistry someone who's open-minded um someone who doesn't care that i'm on only fans or doesn't care that i'm a wrestler and um, hang around with loads of boys and stuff like that someone who's really secure in themselves um yeah just um loads of things really. like when i was younger i'd say tall dark and handsome but as i've got older obviously it's changed and what i'm attracted to has changed as well um i always go for guys older than me like literally like my serious relationships i've noticed they've all been like eight years older than me and they've all been like scorpios like how weird is that i only figured that out the other day i was like why do I go for Scorpios all the time? I don't know. But yeah, but I'd like to just meet someone who's, yeah, just compatible with me. But like I said, like, you know, I am dating. Um, things are going good. So who knows? <laughs> um, Dante Rowe said, what are some of the best matches you have been involved in that you cherish? Um, so obviously I love the fact that I had the first women's wrestling match in Israel. Um, it was the girl's debut. She did amazing. And just to do something like that, at least I can say, oh, well, like, you know, I've done a first of something. Obviously, like, you know, my debut match, even though it was a blur, I never thought I'd see the day I debut. So to have a debut was just amazing. Um, I feel like, like, a lot of my matches, like, at one point, like, I was wrestling so much, everything is just, like, rolled into one. So I can't really think of, like, that one amazing match, if that makes sense. Like, I feel like I've enjoyed myself in matches for different reasons. Um, I'm so lucky that I've, like, you know wrestled loads of amazing people like Shana and Sheeda who are now in AEW, um, Blue Pants like Lever Bates who is obviously in NXT, um, yeah and obviously I've got to meet loads of people, I've got to be on a wrestling show with Rey Mysterio and Alberto Del Rio, uh, got to be on shows with Scott Hall, Scott Hall actually planned mine and my best friend's match Chardonnay he actually helped us plan our match, um, so that was pretty cool. But yeah, like, I guess, um, yeah, I've just sort of gone with it, but nothing really stands out for me completely. Uh, RN, who wait for Jack, said, um, top match you never had but won't. So just before the first lockdown, I was meant to be wrestling Millie McKenzie at SWW. She's now signed to NXT, so that's not going to happen. And I was really excited for that because um, I'm usually a character wrestler, but I'm actually a really good technical star wrestler. And to just have someone to just do lots of tech with and stuff like that, I really thought it would have been fun to have someone to do that with. So I'm gutted that I didn't get to wrestle Millie. Plus, obviously, she lives at German suplexes. I love my German suplex pin and I love like my fisherman and my T-bone suplexes. So I think it would have just been a uh, fun, hard hitting. And I think like, you know, it would have been a different style match to what I'm used to. So it's a shame that that didn't happen, to be fair. 
Kevin McGarth said, why are you so beautiful? Oh, thanks. Oh, my nose is running at the moment. I'm sniffing and I got no makeup on and my hair is like <laughs> out there. But thank you. Uh, Black Bullet said, which woman would you want to form a tag team with in WWE, Impact and AEW? Um, in AEW, your heel character would be perfect with the real Britt Baker. Yeah. Britt Baker, if I was in AEW, I'd love to tag with Britt Baker. I think we'd literally bounce off each other. Um, yeah, I think it'd be really fun. Um, George and Grace for Impact. Um, we've obviously both curvy girls. Um, so yeah, George and Grace. Uh, WWE. Hmm. That's a hard one, WWE. I can't think of anyone off the top of my mind that I would connect with. But I do have brain fog. So to even sit here and go through the whole roster is like, ugh. Like usually like I'd shout you a million names of people who I'd want to tag with and people who I'd want to wrestle. But I'm so brain fogged. I'm just like, ugh. <laughs> anyway, guys, that is part one done. Obviously, I've been going for 16 minutes. So there's going to be a part two because, yeah, I just need to split these videos.